Interesting enough, the majority of people believe that if you're going to get a car, you're always going to have a loan. I mean, everybody has a loan, right? But the truth is, there's other ways. The reason you believe you always have to have a loan is because that's what you were taught. Hey guys, Michael Clopton here from the Michael Clopton channel right here on YouTube. On this channel, we talk about practical financial information for real people in a real world. On today's program, we're talking about car loans, how to never have one or how to never have one again. So watch this video all the way through to the end and you'll find out how you can have a car without a car loan. According to the latest statistics by LendingTree.com, in 2019 so far, the average new car payment is $554 each month. Now let this sink in a minute. That's just a little over half of what Americans pay each month in a mortgage. Hmm. I guess it's fair to say if we have a new car, we're driving around our new house. At least half of it. Did you get the correct answer for the trivia question today? If you guessed Gen Xers, then yeah, you got it right. Congratulations. Listen, while you're here, please hit that like button below. And this will put the video in front of a whole bunch of other people. It's just how YouTube works. I do not have a car payment, and yes, I do have a car. It is safe, and it is reliable, and I love it, and it does the job for me. So I want you to be able to have that debt-free car experience too, and I'm gonna show you a little bit today on how to do that, the basics of the plan so that you too can have a debt-free car. And the thing that I want you to remember is we're gonna work with this number 10, and it's gonna stand for 10 months, okay? So 10 months months, see if I can spell that you properly. Know. Anything about this financial space, there's a man named Dave Ramsey who's brought this more to the forefront recently so that people have been exposed to this idea. When I was younger, I had some older gentleman telling me the same thing, but you know, I was too busy looking at the shiny car and the dealer just said, you know, if you sign your name right here for the low, low payment of $391 a month, you can take this Mustang home with you. So that's exactly what I did. Oh, I wish I would have listened to the gentleman who was trying to tell me a better way for my life. So please consider this. It's your money. You do whatever you want to. I don't think that all loans are bad, but I think car loans are pretty bad because you have to pay interest on them. And remember, a brand new car, the payment every month on an average was $554. And you stretch that out over, I, I've heard like 69 months, 74 four months, six, 83 months, and even 96 months, you know, you stretch that, you do the math, 554 times 83, that's what, seven years, and the numbers, oh my gosh, that's way more than if you walked up to that dealer and he goes, I'm going to sell you this car for X amount of dollars, you would say no, you just wouldn't do it, and so they've kind of lulled us the way in this loan thing, and so I want to help you to have a car without a loan, so 10 months is our magic number, and here's how we're going to do this that a brand new car, as we said, is $554 a month. So we are going to save ourselves and put into, I would suggest a high yield interest uh, savings account because those savings accounts you can have, they'll be online and you can put your money in there. It's separate from your regular checking account. So you won't be, you know, tempted to push it over into your checking account and spend it. It's something that'll be there. And that, give that money in name. It's my car. That The name of that money is my car. The name of that account is my car. And so every month in this example, we're going to save 
$500. Now, in the meantime, you're either going to have to have somebody take you to work, use one of the ride shares, maybe the public transportation, walk, ride a bicycle, or um, uh, maybe have a car that you can borrow in the family. So that will also be helpful too. But this is a way that'll get you started. So we're saving $500 every single month, but we're only doing that for 10 months. So 10 months, we're going to be saving $500. So $500 this month. So I don't know, say you started in January, you're going to be doing this until October. So we're saving $500. And then the next month, we're going to save $500 on this and each month we're getting a little bit of something uh, one of the online accounts was 2.15 I think it is right now uh, of interest being paid so I mean you're getting a little something they're throwing you a little bird seed here and there but that's money you didn't have before in that count so you have the five hundred dollars here five hundred dollars here so now we have a thousand dollars right so the next month, we put another $500 in that same account, separate from our checking account, because the name of this checking account is my car. I mean, this savings account is my car. This is for my car. So just think about it as your car money and that's it. Okay, 5, 10, 15, so we're gonna do this again. And we're now at four, five, 10, 15, 20. So there's $2,000 there. And we just keep on until we get 10 months. So from January all the way through October, we continue this pattern. At that time, you're going to have $5,000. Let me tell you a little secret. You can get a pretty good used car for $5,000. You would be amazed. No, it's not going to be the shiny new with all the bells and whistles, but it's going to be a car that you don't have to use the right app or the bus or walk or a bicycle or use somebody else's car trying to find somebody to take you from one place to the other. No, there's your $5,000 that you can go and buy a reliable, safe car that used that you're not going to stay married to. You're not buying it a ring and moving in with it. You're going to date it for 10 months. That's right. Our new car that we have here, we're going to keep it for 10 months. Remember, I said that is your number. So now we uh, have cleared out this account. There's nothing there. You know why? Because we bought our car. We bought our car, so there's nothing left in the account. So that's October. November, we started again. $500. And we start this all over right on through month number 10, where we have another $500 thousand dollars so what do we have now to buy a car we have ten thousand dollars five thousand plus the value of your car in ten months just take care of your car but in ten months you're not going to lose any value hardly at all if any in your car now when you go out and get your car if you don't really know much about cars or anything like that which should, I've learned more about them but I wouldn't say I was the expert bring somebody along with you somebody that knows more about cars than you do so they'll help you get a good car there's deals out there all over the place where that you can get you a, an affordable car that doesn't cost much money and you can be sure that it's reliable and safe but on your second go around so in 20 months which is less than two years you're going to be able to buy a car for 10,000 now we're looking at a whole new ball game and range of cars but at the whole time you've never had the pressure of having to make the car payment to the bank the bank charging you interest, making more money on that. Instead, you were getting a few little crumbs from your high yield savings that were giving it to you. Now you say, Michael, well, I can't really afford $500 every month. I mean, you know, with all uh, transportation, everything that I'm going, well, what can you do? Can you do 300? Let's do 300. Let's say you're doing 300 a month. Obviously at the end of that, you're going to have $3,000, right? 
So that $3,000 is still going to get you a pretty reliable enough car to get you to work, to get you to the mall, to get you to the movies, to, you know, I don't think you should be taking off to Alaska in it probably, but it will get you a car where you're not having to depend on somebody else or you're not uh, on the public transportation or riding your bike or hoofing it to work, whatever it might be. So you have something. And again, remember, you're not getting married to it. You just have it for 10 months. Remember, that's your magic number. 10 months, that's your magic number. So you only have it for 10 months. In 10 more months, you're going to have $6,000. Now we're looking at a total different range of used cars that you're going to be able to have. And so this is actually how the plan goes. Now, you can keep this up until you get to a car that, you know, whatever you want, or the 20,000, 32,000, whatever it is that you want, you keep this same plan up. So literally what you're doing, instead of making a car payment, that's why I said you don't have a car loan, instead of making a car payment to the bank, you're making it to you. You're making it to yourself. You're paying yourself for your next car that's coming up. And that's how this plan works. So remember, 10 is your magic number. 10 is the number that you want to use. Not only is it just easy for math. It does give your car uh, time for you time to use your car, time for you to save some more money, and the value of your car should stay very well intact as long as you just take care of it. You know, vacuum it, clean it, you know, change the oil, things like that. <laughs> So I want to tell you about where you eventually want to get to. You can continue this plan the rest of your life and never have to have a car payment ever again. It's very doable and people are doing it all the time. So you're not alone. You wouldn't be the only person doing it, but you'll never have to have a car loan where you're paying all that extra money for a car that isn't worth it the money that you're actually finishing paying. So here's the second step. I was looking around at YouTube in my space here of financial advice, and I ran across this guy who was saying, don't pay cash for a car. And I thought, what? Is this guy messing up with his mind? Is something wrong in his head? And then the more I got to watching it, I was saying, God, I hope these people are not believing what he's saying. I found out that he was a car dealer. He sold cars and all, he was giving five reasons why you should not pay cash for your car. And if you want to sum it up in one reason, it would be because I can't make any extra money if you don't um, uh, have a loan on your car. That was, that was the end of it. But he did bring up one little teeny tiny factor, however misguided by him that it was, that leads us to plan number two. And plan number two is by, he, he, okay, let's go this way. He said that you could take the money that you were going to pay for the car and invest it somewhere. And so he was suggesting that you take that money and, and make it into an asset. Now, unless that money was going to make enough money to make your car payment every single month, then that's a horrible idea. And I can't, think of anything that's going to help you do that. Um, I don't know, even properties, so buying properties really won't really work that fast. And in some markets, it just depends. So some of you already know, some of you know a way that you have an asset where you have invested in and that made your car payment for you or took care of your car. Tell us down below some of the ways that you did that. Okay. So here's what you do is um, we're going to take that little spark from that ignorant post. I mean, it was really stupid <laughs> from that little post and uh, I'm going to tell you where you would eventually like to get to. Now one, you could follow the 10 month plan just like I told you and do that for eternity and there's nothing wrong with that. But what if you could get something else to literally pay for your car instead of you paying for your car from the money that you work for. The money that you work for is one of the highest taxed monies that we have. So that's really hard getting that money together. So what I want to show you is this. If you buy an asset, let's just say it's a house, uh, you know, a house, maybe a multifamily house where there's several uh, housing units in it. So you bought that and then after paying all of the expenses, you had cash left over. Let's say that that cash was 500 
$1,854. What does that sound like? A brand new average car payment for a new car. So every month, once all the bills were paid, including the insurance and the taxes and the repairs and how many times that it's empty, after all those expenses were paid, that you had $554 left over, this would be an excellent way to buy a car. Because now your little car, I'm not good at driving car, or I'm good at driving cars, but not drawing cars. Here's a little pickup. Anyway, your little car now, instead of it coming from the dollars that you work for, it's coming from the dollars of your asset. Right here is an asset, which means it makes you money. It's making you extra money. So you're taking the money from that asset and you're paying off that car. That's how you're buying the car. Or you can actually take that asset uh, the money from the asset and put it again into a savings account and let it draw the interest until you get the 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 tag price or the uh, the the how much that car cost and you can buy that car so this is the second step that you need to uh, consider maybe in getting another car again you really don't want to have a car loan uh, what you do with your life honest guys that's your choice but I'm showing you an option another option actually two options where you don't have to have a car loan you can say no to car loans and get control of your finances toward a car on your own. So I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope that you got some value from the things that I shared with you today. And if you did, would you please uh, hit the subscribe button below and maybe even that little notification bell so that when more content like this comes up on my channel, you'll be the first to know. Thank you very much. I'm Michael Clopton from the Michael Clopton channel right here on YouTube. Thanks for spending the time with me. Now go get a car, not alone.